Welcome to Dying Breed Commander, this upcoming homage to 90s classic RTS games and metal soundtracks will have both base building and unit combat on land, sea, air and even underground across two single player campaigns. It looks as you would expect from a full on retro RTS game including giant sandworms and it has its own alternate history and post apocalyptic world setting to boot. The Command and Conqueror franchise had one feature which is most memorable of all, but game developers have practically abandoned it since the 90s. The live action full motion video, FMV for short. Commander, congratulations on infiltrating the refinery. But the small indie developer team behind Dying Breed is bringing back this fan favorite element and they are backed by Microprose Software as their publisher. In true CNC fashion, the game world diverges from our own around the time of the Second World War, in which the US and USSR sit out the whole war, leaving Europe to be conquered by Hitler's Germany. Only once nuclear weapons are developed do Soviet Russia and United States attack, but Germany made nukes fly and demolish most of the developed world in a doomsday scenario. The surviving population moves to Africa as the sole remaining habitable continent only to find an unknown mineral which has strange effects on wildlife that comes into contact with it. The mineral becomes known as Substance D. A few decades later, a local warlord forges the Empire Ascending Order backed by military use of Substance D. The remaining free population bonds into the West World Alliance to combat this emerging threat. And you are one of its commanders. Your briefings come from Lieutenant Franco, while your top superior is General Andy, the commander-in-chief of the army of the West World Alliance. These are the main characters which you will be seeing in those live-action FMV sequences I mentioned in the intro, and you can enjoy these yourself if you play the demo, link down in the description. Use your spy to explore and the engineer to break security gates. This feature alone is a huge selling point of the game for me personally and I truly wish more developers would go back to using these live action FMV sequences in their games as they were such a special element of classic RTS games which we all fondly remember to this day. They don't need A or even B list actors and actresses, no explicit costumes but just the right amount of believable storytelling. The production of Dying Breed was divided into three sections and the only remaining part to be developed is the one with base building and user interface art. This is why I can show you soldiers, the commando, zombies, engineers, spies, explosive rats, walking brains, sandworms, different vehicles, turrets and tesla towers which wirelessly supply energy to nearby buildings. The gameplay is fast-paced action of the classic RTS, but depending on the mission you can be cunning and sneaky if you so choose. Your main character and mission critical objective is the commando and losing him at any point leads to losing the mission. He has exceptional aim, vision and attack range and an ability to blow up buildings with explosives, basically like Tanya from Red Alert or Burton from Generals. Do let me know which special unit and commando was your favorite in all of Command and Conquer games down in the comments. The foot soldiers on the other hand, like the riflemen, bazooka soldiers, spies and engineers can be expended while solving each mission objective. This can be neutralizing enemy targets, navigating through puzzling levels, securing, destroying or corrupting target objects or units as well as all out amphibious, air or land assaults with your troops against enemy bases. You will be able to play from both points of view in a war between the Westworld Alliance and the Empire Ascending Order. The warlord called Ubik is the leader of this new empire and by using the newfound Substance D resource he has created mutants in addition to cyborgs for his army. There is even a secret unit probably connected to mutation effects of Substance D which we can glimpse in the gameplay but have no information on at this point. This doesn't mean the Empire lacks conventional troops, as they also have the regular infantry and fighting vehicles, they can recruit and build 
in barracks and vehicle factories. Despite its horrible effects on animal and human life and the new breed of huge sandworms which guard it, the substance D is collected with harvesters and processed at the refinery to be used as your main resource in the game. Since vehicles run on fuel in this universe as well, the red barrels as the staple of 90s RTS are also present in Dying Breed and make a nice big boom once set on fire. I know that graphic design could be a major issue for some of you and that playing retro looking games in 2023 or 2024 might not be very pleasing to the eye, but if first person shooter players can hop from Battlefield 2042 and its super duper graphics into Battlebit and its Minecraft like graphics to have loads of fun, I think we can do so too. But in case this is your bridge too far, I have more upcoming CNC like RTS games with updated graphics you might enjoy more as cards on the screen. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!